lahat tayo ay nakakaranas ng kalungkutan o sadness. Pero madalas, ang lungkot na ito ay naglalaho din at nagagawa nating bumalik sa ating normal na estado. Pero anong mangyayari kung ang lungkot na ito ay magpatuloy at hindi mawala? Ang depresyon o depression ay naiiba sa lungkot na normal nating nararanasan. Maraming iba't ibang uri ng depression. At ang isa sa pinakapangkaraniwan dito ay tinatawag na major depressive disorder. Ayon sa DSM-5 or Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, ang isang taong may MDD or major depressive disorder ay nagtataglay ng limang sintomas na matatagpuan sa nasabing manual. And at least one of the symptoms must be a depressive episode. Pero ano nga ba talaga ang iba't ibang sintomas ng depression at paano natin malalaman na kung ang isa sa mga kakilala natin ay meron na nito? Tumutok lang at ating alamin ang pitong mahalagang sintomas ng depression na dapat mong matutunan. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Ma'am Terebena, your guidance counselor. So para po sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin, ako po ay isang registered guidance counselor. Ito so po sa mga advocacy ko, ang matulungan po kayo ng pangalagaan ng inyong kalusugang pangkaisipan or mental health. Kung kaya naman naglunsad po tayo ng isang programa dito po sa ating channel na Your Guidance Counselor na kung saan regular po tayo mag upload ng mga videos na may kinalaman po sa pangangalaga ng inyong mental health. So kung kaya naman, kung first time nyo pa lang po sa channel na ito, you may click the subscribe subscribe button and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng videos na i-upload ko. So, I hope handa na po tayo. So, let's begin. These are the seven important signs of depression. One, Neglecting friends and hobbies. Another frustrating symptom of depression is something known as anhedonia. This means the loss of pleasure from activities which would usually be fun. This leads to neglecting activities in people as they no longer give the person with depression any sense of pleasure or fun. According to Psychology Today writer Faith Briney, it is one of the most common symptoms of depression. So if your friend no longer seems interested in their hobbies like Pokemon Go, playing guitar, or dancing, it may be a good time to check in with them. 2. Changes in Sleep Pattern Our sleep pattern is incredibly important for our mental health. Often changes to our sleep pattern are one of the signs that we're suffering mentally. This is particularly an issue as an irregular sleep pattern can make depression worse. Depression can cause insomnia or too little sleep, or hypersomnia or sleeping too much. These changes in sleep pattern also tend to result in a decrease in overall energy. This symptom is very common. Not Wilson and Patterson found that 75% of depressed patients reported insomnia and 40% reported hypersomnia. So if you notice a change to your sleep pattern, it might be a sign you're depressed. 3. Change in appetite. Another thing that depression can influence is our appetites. Some people with depression find their appetite is much lower, feeling unable to eat. Conversely, some people with depression have an increased appetite and may turn to food to comfort eat. Simons et al. found that certain brain areas were involved in whether someone with depression lost or increased their appetite. So if you notice your friend's appetite seems to have changed drastically, that might be a sign they are suffering from depression. 4. Low Self-Steam Self-steam is something that is often majorly affected by depression. Depression can make you only see the negative things about yourself and downplay your achievements. This is a serious symptom of depression as it can lead to people feeling worthless. It's even been shown in studies that low self-esteem as an adolescent is a risk factor for depression as an adult. If you feel like there's nothing positive about you or you have friends who always seem to put themselves down, it could be due to depression. 5. Decrease in Hygiene one way the lack of energy from depression can manifest is a decrease in someone's hygiene. 
Often those with depression struggle to shower, clean their teeth, or other self-grooming habits we take for granted. This is due to their fatigue and lack of motivation to complete tasks. So if your friend is looking less clean and groomed, it might be due to a depressive episode. 6. Irritability Do you ever find that someone and everything is getting on your nerves? Do you feel like you're tense and pent up? Irritability is one of the symptoms of depression. When you feel so negative about everything, it can make even little things feel incredibly annoying. Bisharat et al. also suggests depression causes dysfunction in mood regulation, meaning anger is more likely to be displayed. So if you notice you or a friend have a shorter fuse than usual, it might be worth looking into why that is. 7. Flat Emotions There is a misconception that depression is all about feeling sad all the time. This, however, isn't the case. One other symptom of depression is known as flat mood. This is where a person's mood is dull. Often people say they feel numb or like they can feel anything at all. They don't feel sad, but they also can't feel happy either. If this feeling is something you've experienced, you might want to seek help as you may be suffering from depression. If you feel like you strongly relate to the science in this video, you should seek professional help. A doctor will talk to you about your symptoms and may have you complete a self-report questionnaire to help diagnose you. Once your doctor suspects you have depression, they will discuss treatment options such as medication and therapy with you. That's it for today's video. So I hope na marami na naman tayong natutunan. Pero of course, reminder lamang po ano. So again, kung meron po tayo nito mga sintomas na to, at least 5 na sintomas. So maari pong kumonsulta na tayo agad sa ating mga kakilalang psychologist, psychiatrist, or kahit na sa mga kakilala nyo po muna mga guidance counselors kasi sigurado po na matutulungan kayo nila sa inyong mga concerns. And of course, may ilalagay din po tayo nitong mental health hotlines or uh, ito pong mental health crisis hotline natin. So available po ito. So, maaari po tayong tumawag sa kanila in case man na meron tayong mga mental health crisis. Ayan. So, again, ito po ay isang uh, video na maaaring makatulong din po sa inyo at sa iba. Share nyo lang po ang mga video ito. Ang mga videos po natin ng sagaya ay makatulong din po tayo sa iba. So, again, maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagsuporta ng ating channel na your guidance counselor. So, muli ito po si Mang Terebrena saying bye for now. And by the way, comment down below kung ano man po ang mga gusto nyo sabihin. Ano, kung may mga suggestions po kayo. And of course, i-like nyo na din po ang channel na to kung may, uh, kung may natutunan po kayo. And of course, share nyo na din. Ano? And subscribe then Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. So again, this is Mom Terebena, your guidance counselor saying bye for now. And see you on our next video.